Minneapolis is gearing up for this month's trial of Derek Chauvin, the former police officer charged in George Floyd's death, which led to nationwide protests and calls for an end to police brutality last summer. On May 25, Chauvin was seen on video kneeling on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes as Floyd cried out that he couldn't breathe. Floyd, who was accused of using a counterfeit $20 bill, was handcuffed and pinned to the ground by three officers during the arrest. Chauvin continued to press his knee into Floyd's neck minutes after he became non-responsive as bystanders repeatedly asked officers to check for a pulse. Chauvin and three other officers were fired a day after Floyd's death and were charged the following week. Floyd's name became a rallying cry as protests spread to more than 1,700 cities and towns in all 50 states and around the world. In Minneapolis, thousands of protesters demanded the officers be held accountable and called for police reform. Though many demonstrations were peaceful, businesses were looted on several nights, and a police station was burned. Last month, city officials began solidifying security plans and establishing a security perimeter around City Hall, nearby buildings and the courthouse where jury selection will begin Monday. Streets will be closed, businesses will be boarded up and National Guard troops and hundreds of law enforcement officers will be in place in anticipation of potential unrest during the trial, set to begin March 29. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Frey said the trial will probably increase trauma for many, especially as the verdict draws near, and safety will be a top priority. We believe it is on us to honor the magnitude of this moment and ensure that our families in this city feel safe, Frey said. Here's everything you need to know about the trial of Derek Chauvin, jury selection is scheduled to begin Monday. The prosecution and defense are set to start opening statements March 29. In May, Chauvin was charged with second-degree murder and manslaughter, but he may face additional charges. An appeals court is considering a request by prosecutors to reinstate a third-degree murder charge against Chauvin. That count was dismissed in October by Judge Peter Cahill, who said that charge would apply only if a defendant put multiple people in danger and someone died. According to Minnesota law, third-degree murder involves perpetrating an act eminently dangerous to others and evincing a depraved mind. The three other former officers involved, Thomas Lane, J. Alexander Kung and Tu Thao, are charged with aiding and abetting second-degree murder and manslaughter. They are scheduled for trial together in August. Chauvin posted a $1 million bond in October and was released from state prison. This is not the only time Chauvin may face legal repercussions related to Floyd's death.